Hello and welcome to our coverage of Serie A football. Today it's Juventus against Palermo. So without further ado, we're off to the Juventus Stadium. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. Well, we're with the Italians today. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me. Serie A football for you. Juventus, how well they played in their previous game to win away against Asuolo. Yeah, they actually played better than the 2-1 victory scoreline suggests, and uh, they're a good team, better than the opponents today. I think they'll win. The Juventus lineup up there. Gigi Buffon plays in goal. Martin Caceres plays with Giorgio Chiellini as the centre-backs. Arturo Vidal starts with Andrea Pirlo in central midfield. In attack, Carlos Tevez starts. He was man of the match last time out. This is the lineup for the away side, an opportunity to see how far Juventus have come. Well, they're in a Champions Cup position, but they'll be disappointed with that because uh, they were fully expecting. Bregoni for, for <coughs> Palermo is a good tackler. Still plenty of time to go, and they might still do Palermo that. has a mixed bag team. To make those improvements. He will be so, determined ooh, to do kits, a bit not good. Than in his recent games. He is better not than good here with the kids. Shown, surely he is. Yeah, and I think uh, the manager rightfully so, so he's given him to a, see. another chance. But I've seen over the last couple of weeks, confidence has been low. Ugh. Leonardo Benucci. Well, that's a real tussle for the ball there, and that cross is won by the defender, Carlos Tevez. Carrying the ball forward, Juventus on the attack. Juventus. Oh, I mean, these kits are horrible. Tried to turn the pink off, but I guess we have this sunlight or whatever through the center of the stadium. Thank you very much, Alan. Sun glare. It's okay when you're in the darkness, but when you're in the sun glare, the uniforms get confusing. Terrible. And it will go into the middle now. The cross came in, but the defender was first to it. Jay. It's advantage for Juventus. Oh. Ay, ay, ay. Checking back on the stats for the visitors, Alan. Six points from their last five league games. It's not over impressive, is it? No, it's not. And uh, they'll look back on those five games and think of where they could have done better, much better. Dybala. Comes in strongly. No, wrong guy. Pareto. Goes for goal. <laughs> Just about hit another goal, I think. He certainly didn't hit the one that he was aiming at. No, he never looked comfortable on that side, did he? Never. Andrea Pirlo. Vida. Luca Maroni. And it's back to him again. Arturo Vida. Oh. Had a shot there. After the goalkeeper corner. It. Referee points for a corner. Corner. Let's see what we could do here. Into the attacking third. Here's the cross. Those uh, defenders will have been told by the coach, stop the cross. That's what he's done. Oh, had him through. He's cleaned up here, hasn't he, with that clearance. Juventus will get the throw. Andrea 
Shakira. Jay. Oh. Good challenge from a sliding tackle from the defender. Well, what they've done in the last five league games, four wins and a draw, 13 points. It's good. Very good. You'd take that all day long, wouldn't you? And they'll be hoping for more of the same here. Ron is not all that fast. He's a tank defensively. Plays a little bit like uh, De Blasio. Oh! Plays a little bit like De Rossi, but he's a little oh, bit slower, it seems. Harder to get over there. Off, I believe, Alan. It's a red card for Verona. They're down to 10 men. 28 minutes played. It remains 1 1. Thanks, Alan. They've got to keep the ball better than this because it's just a giveaway to the opposition. <coughs> to extend this run of two consecutive victories into three. Yeah, and the way they've played in those previous two, I, I can see them making it three as well. Dybala. Fabio De Prella. He's going to cross it. Tries his luck. GG. Ooh, nice. So I just got lucky there. Go long, go long. Go long. <sighs> and that's a throw for Juventus. Juventus win the throw there. A small. To Tevez. Oh, just nothing there. Goal news from Palmer. It's a goal for the visitors. 37 minutes, please. 1 0. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, he's got support here. Juventus will get the throw. Carlos Tevez. Oh! Oh, no call. No call. Some that are impossible to take the ball away from him. Very crisp challenge there. <laughs> Carlos Tevez. Jay. The there. Woo. There he is. Lazio. 43rd minute goal. Well, he's just feathered that into the right hand side. That is a wonderful take. Bought him off on the left. Fifth goal ties Tevez for the Serie A lead. Pareto. Chance from the pass. The shot. Ooh, now corner. They've got a corner on the attack again. The team that's leading by one. Oh, he's goal. holding his head for. Here. Oh. Jeez. Just got to get better at headers. All right, there we are. One nothing here against Palermo. Well, you could see the Hit the goal in the 43rd minute. When they went in at half -time, Alan, that Bellagio, the, uh, the there's the rest of it well there. Inner's uh, yeah. tied with us at top the table, and they're beating Cessna one nothing. Juventus a half-time lead, but it doesn't guarantee anything. Goal news from Sampdoria. It's a second goal for Sampdoria. It's been scored by Gonzalo Bergesio. He got on to the end of a free kick from the left to head home. 47 minutes played. 2 0. Cheers, Alan. Arturo Vida. Just 
It's pure luck. We gotta get a little pure luck action here. Oh, put back. Oh, they called it off. Called it off. Organization from the defense, and it was offside looking at it. What did you make of it, Alan? Well, I thought he was onside, you know, but uh, he's gone through and tucked it away. But looking at the replay, yes, he had gone a bit early. Lost the ball here. Luca Maroni. Andrea Pirlo. Alan McAnally wants to join us now. He's got a goal to tell us about. It's a second goal from Napoli. Oh. 56 minutes played. Man, that was a questionable Thanks, call. Uh oh. Lagio's down. The substitute is ready for Juventus. Uh oh. Got to be. Uh oh. Good chance, wasn't it? Well, that just sums up his form. He's really been in a shocking spell when he can't do anything right, and he couldn't there either with that miss hit shot. <sighs> and they've got two players warmed up and ready to come off. Just jogging off. Hopefully he's okay. Nice having Marquisio in there. He's faster than Marone. Like him better. In terms of a player on the in the starting squad. Come on, Vidal. You gonna get in a bar fight? Carlos Tevez. There. Woo! Lorente. Lorente. Nice goal there. Couldn't get him off the ball. Good luck here. Again, by the replay of the goal. First Serie A goal. Juventus with the substitution. And it's 2-0 here. Dybala. Melotti. Tackle goes in. Mario Marquisio. 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 Oh. And that's dealt with the problem. Right, Tevez there. Dybala. Oh. This is going to be an interesting decision from the referee, San Milano. Romulo is in for uh, Pirlo. Cardam sliding in and uh, taking his part in the game into uh, uh, a dangerous territory, really. Yeah, he might have done a bit more damage to his opponent than seems to have been the case. Romulo. Opportunity here. Here's oh. The <laughs> They've been saved, the defending team, by that offside flag. Oof. Yeah, and they only get one chance at it, and more often than not, they, they do get pretty close to being right. Michel Morganella. Possibly a booking this. Vida. Oh, where's the card there, man? That was just bullshit there. That was a cheap shot. Romulo. Limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. And that's a throw for Juventus. Fernando Llorente. Oh! Got to call that there. What's the referee going to do here? Has shown the player a yellow card. 75th minute. Got to be careful now. Fair portion of the match to go. That was a 
was an easy decision for the ref. Well, he's dived in. It's a reckless one. Try something crazy here. You can understand the defenders trying to close the distance, but that's too close. Oh! Oh! If I had Pirlo there, I would have had that goal. And the shot's off. It's not a decisive save. Oh! This is a corner. So they close. To defend properly against it. Juventus will get the throw. <sighs> Mario Marquisio. Well, that's widened the game here, and they've got it to the wide man well. Dybala. Melotti. It's 82 minutes played now. You see a substitute coming on for the away team here. Well, he's away from his marker now. Keeps it going and hits it. Pushed back into play by the goalkeeper. Chance for him. In with the chance. Oh, he scored. They were going to score there. I mean, that was just craziness. Yeah, I couldn't even see the ball with the uh, with the crazy uh, colors uh, from the day. They should have been wearing blue jerseys or something. Unstoppable. Juventus. As predicted, have the lead. Goal news from Udinese. It's a third goal for Udinese. It's been scored by... So we're not going to take any chances here. We're going to kill this clock. This weird stuff happens at the end of these games. Way too much weirdness for me. Thank you very much, Alan. Here's Chiellini. Leonardo Venucci. Young Guns taking it up. Set it up well for the cross. Pulls it back. Mario Marquisio. Oh. Oh my goodness. Whew. Buffon saves the day at the end with that great save there. Holy cow. Much, much closer, Alan, than we ever thought it would be. And that's a credit to the underdogs. Without doubt, I think they gave us and they gave their manager everything. So Blasio had the first goal in 44 minutes. Fernando Lorente. Had the second goal at 61 minutes, and uh, pretty good game, you know. Played 2 nothing the whole game. They got a late goal, and uh, they got a late goal, and And they had a shot at the end because I turned the ball over when I shouldn't have. Big foul there. No call. There's some fighting. Bellagio. Bellagio! There it is. Bellagio. Tevez put back off and uh, that
that one was called off sides. So when that was called off sides, we were still only up one nothing. Oh, got killed. He's holding his knee after that. But anyway, man, there it is, 6.9 rating. Um, pretty good passing, just not a lot of goals or anything. Player of the game, Tevez with a 7.7. .7. And uh, Piro only had a 6.8. Goals was from Lorente and Bellagio. Tevez had two assists as the pass is completed. Dribbles, crosses, saves. Gigi Buffon had a great save at the end, so man of the match was Carlos Tevez. And we'll look at his card. There he is, man of the match. He keeps knocking out man in the match performances, and uh, we don't care about that. We're winning two assists, and that's what counts. We won the game. So anyway, that's the end of that one. Looks like Inter hung on to win and beat Cessna 2 nothing. So they're going up a little bit in the goal advantage there. And here's the standings. Serie A. Chievo Verona nil. Genoa one. Juventus oh. two. Palermo. One. Lazio.